Okay, what's up everybody? Um, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we are headed out to pull another excavator out that is buried in the mud. Um, received the phone call from, uh, it's a HOA that Tad and I actually live at, and uh, they're out there trying to dredge the lake bottom while it is, uh, I guess while they've got the, the lake lowered for the, the winter, and um, yeah got a call that it's buried down in the mud so we are headed out um we're actually going to be using a truck that uh, i don't think we've ever had on here before it uh, is one of our the ones that our grandfather had as you can tell tad is backing it out right now but it is a um the 1991 international with a 95 nrc 20 ton so uh we don't really use it much anymore but uh, where this excavator is located, it's going to be a little bit of a, a tighter, tighter area to get back to. So uh, we've opted to take this long since it's got 25,000 pound Ramsey winches on it, and the excavator is a little bit, a little bit bigger and, and buried than we'd like to hook our our F550 on. So we're ready to hop in and head out there now and uh, stand by. I suppose that's the only way it can go out is over there then. <clears throat> well, the top of the lake bottoms froze. Um, well, what I'm thinking is if I run a line, a run a line off that tree over there, get to the back, but we still got to get, you suppose, uh, I mean, there's no way we're like, well, I'm saying if it, we're talking I don't even know what the temperature is right now. What, five degrees? But if he can spin, I should be able to hook one of them Bailey slings right through that front knuckle. Right? Yeah. And then if it starts pulling it. I guess we'll back up here and see what we can get figured out. Things a little bit stronger, but that the blue urethane is going to be a little bit more robust. So, do the blue one. get it down as low as it'll go. That's where all the strength is. And then rotate the 
pull it, pull your sight around more. This works. Oh, but works too. <laughs> I think one of these is the original snatch blocks that he got when he bought one of the Holmes Wreckers years ago. Really? I think so. I don't know which one. Oh, it's a Johnson, so at least that's a, a good one. Let's get him to see if he can spin the, spin the thing around now. We want to see if we can get um they need to come this way out the front okay so take the <clears throat> now there's nothing sharp that's gonna Is there? I mean, no, not today. it's not going to pinch that hose off the left side of the cylinder, is it? When we start going, I mean, once he once he goes, I'm going to want him to rotate right towards that tree. I think if can you put it down below that knuckle? You know what I'm saying? So the I don't want to suck it more. Right here. This this will be just as strong right there. I'm gonna say nobody can be standing anywhere near. I'm gonna say if something happens to let go. I know. I mean, I don't even know that I want. I would just try to stay at least over in this tree. So if something did let go, if that lets go, it's at least got those trees to stop it. Yep. Um, yep. Vice versa, if something wants to go this way, at least yep. these trees are here to block. Or, like I say, I would feel comfortable if you were down along the side and just kind of watch the tracks and see if you can get it to spin the tracks up out of the way to get it rotated over the side. You ready? Can he try to dig himself up out? Okay, now. Try to dig, but lift it up. There you go.
How are we looking? So far, so good. Okay, re-scoop. Re Just don't hit the cable. Come over a little more this way. I Hopefully... Can't, I can't swing. Okay. I was hoping to kind of get you away from the dock. Ready? Yep. Winch broke. Well, I mean, you look at it, this cable's nothing. No. Well, what I'm getting at is like, all them years in and out of the 27 ton. Uh, use and abuse, so. Good. <laughs> okay, well. Out of the things that broke, I wasn't expecting the cable no, to break, yeah. but it's probably 30 years old, so. Can't get any more on it? I like you getting her up off the ground about. There you go. There we go. Ready? Yep. Okay. Time to. Starting to move. There you go. the tracks at all with it move the tracks a little bit yep nice and easy nice and easy every once in a while it gets a hard pull on you can hear the crack of the tree over there so usually an indication that it's getting a lot of tension on it can you pick her up some more no tracks and try to pick her up some more there you go
tracks a little bit. from the dock. It looks like it's plenty away from the dock, isn't it? That one track probably going that way from it. This is over here. Can you rotate off that way and try to pull yourself that way while you're, you know, Cause it's on mud, it should slip right. Yeah, that's the issue. Get that track spun cause the blade's going right that way. He's gonna have to rotate. Give a little bit of track while you rotate. There you go. It's moving slowly. Let me try to pull a little bit while he's going. It's rotating slowly, but I think I need to. So there's so much tension on it, it won't allow him to spin because we're attached to the stick. But it shouldn't matter. As long as he's got that deadheaded, you see what I'm saying? He needs... Hey! To get, no, to get the blades angled out this way. So his tracks are going right towards the dock. So he needs to to rotate it while moving the tracks, but the, the cab itself is gonna stay stationary. It doesn't matter that I have, because I'm hooked to there. I understand that, but the suction won't. So that's what I'm saying. I almost need to keep a little bit more tension on it. Okay, so he's gonna pull on it nice and slow, we ready? Yep. Rotate. He's moving you. Rotate. Keep rotating, it's moving. Make this one go backwards. Okay. There you go, keep doing that. She's moving. Keep doing that. Hold up. 
How close are you now? As long, here's the deal, as long as the cab misses it, yep. I'm content. Watch your cab. Hold up. How close are you? Just the cab. Uh, that. The cab? Yeah. About a one speed speed Thank you, let off tension. I can bring him around here, maybe push it that way a little bit. What do you think about letting off tension? He brings his boom over here and lifts it and maybe spin it. Try to get this side over here and lift it. It's fine. Don't hurt to try it. No, I mean, I'm just thinking he's got to get the tracks turned, right. and I don't know how. Let's try that. Try to uh, try to move the tracks, spin them as well. No, making it worse. Well, stayed pretty solid. Sledgehammer and truck. Oh, they see you there. I'm gonna say I probably got one in the wrecker. They do them together. Yeah. One on each side. I gotta say, his pipe's a little bit longer than the one on this side. I'd take yours more, Tad. I gotta say, yours is loose, so. Grab that stuff down. Yep. So I would just, I just slide it. I just slide it. Okay. Got the hammer. Sledge. Or C's got it over there. Go to the 
Yeah. I would say he probably wants to rotate back to that side, doesn't he? Yeah. To try to keep it. Give him some pressure. I just wanted to get that front end up as much as we can. I like to get on top of that crust. There you go. Right there. Tracks. Not yet. There you go. Don't put your stick down. Go forward, nice and easy, while he pulls. There we go. There we go. Don't stop. Okay, hold it. Stop. Let it pull you and you drive. Let it. Okay. Gosh, leave it up. Drive while you pull. There you go. Let him pull you while you drive. Hey.
I was saying, let me unhook and right to pull them that way now. He's got to rotate this way first. Keep trying to rotate. You might have to lift up. There you go. Tad, if he doesn't rotate this way, it's gonna rip that hose right off. Yep. Give me some slack. Okay, see what you can do. There you go. A little slack. Bring her over that way more, Josh. Other way. There you go. Slack. Don't you think if I pull it this way, it'll start to come? Hey, hold, hold it there a minute. Hold up, hold up. No, keep it up in the air. Understand. I want to get these under the tracks. They get under the tracks. He rotates over. I should be able to pull it and slide while he yeah. cracked the thing up again, like it was. Okay. Keep going. Stop right there. Come on, baby. Okay. Let it back down. down. See what, yeah, see what, unless we can get another one. Here. Over there. Okay, stop. Let's see, shove that under if we can get it under. Go up a little bit more for you? Yeah, if you can. Hold it there. Hold it. Kind of well, nothing. they should at least form a a bridge for that thing to. Okay. Let's see, slip that right down like that. Okay. Now we'll set it down. He rotates over towards the truck. Should be able to get it pivoted over. That strap gonna even out? This track I want to go. Time to shoot the arm out this way to try to get it to tip. Okay, hold it. Hold it. This track. Just this one. You're moving that one. Other one, other one. There you go. Just 
stick up a little bit. There you go. Unhook the hook and leave the strap on there for now. You just walk forward with, okay? Time to get up the hill. Take it right out, get it loaded. was certainly uh, an interesting one so it was uh, quite a bit smaller of an excavator than that one we had a year ago but <laughs> I'd say we probably struggled with this one a little bit more just because of um, the position that it was in so as you guys could tell we opted to just cut the end of the dock off um, the, the top part top was so frozen we couldn't get couldn't get the tracks to spin so um, cut the end of the dock off give it a little bit more room to pop up out of there and um, they'll go back probably I don't know when it's frozen again or springtime who knows fix the dock but uh, a lot easier to spent a couple hundred dollars to fix the dock in comparison to messing up the side of the excavator. So um, at least we're back in the truck and <laughs> staying warm. My toes are froze, my hands are froze, but uh, yeah. So pleased with the outcome. As you guys saw at the end, we, were, we needed the tracks to get spun 90 degrees. So put some whatever just some fallen down timbers logs under was able to help pivot it around and once he got on the hard pack again he was able to crawl right up out so they got it loaded they're taking it back to the shop because um, it doesn't have long once the tracks and, and the mud inside of the tracks freeze up uh, it's just like a lead weight there's no moving it so they're gonna head back take it back to the shop probably get it all pressure washed and uh, check everything over but uh, yeah another successful job completed and um, since Tad and I live here at the HOA we're just going to donate our time and, and um, it's just another job for us so just help people out in situations that that aren't always the best I know I've been helped out in some crappy situations so pay it forward and it always comes back to pay off in the end so 
as always hit uh, hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already go ahead and drop a comment let us know uh, what you guys thought of the recovery and we will catch on the next one